Welcome back guys. This is DSG and you are watching No In Depth. In this episode we are going to talk about Redmi 4A. Let's get started. Starting with the unboxing, on the packaging here we see EMI logo. On the front it says 4A and on the sides it says Redmi 4A. On the back here we get some informations. Starting with the product name followed by Dual SIM, Dual Standby, LTE, GSM, WCDMA, Welcome Snapdragon 4 to 5, Quad Core, we'll talk about it in a minute. 5 inch display and a 3120mAh lithium battery. Speeding up the unboxing, let's keep the price in mind. This cost around 6000 only. And this is our Redmi 4A. The overall look and feel is nice. The color I got here is gold. And gold come with white front panel. Let's see the other accessories. The charger. As you can see, it's only a 5V 1A charger. That means it's not a fast charger. And we got a micro USB charging cable. And that's it for the accessories. Let's come to the handset. Up in the front, we got a 5 megapixel shooter, a handheld speaker grill for calls, sensors, and a 5 inch 720p display with 296 ppi, which is decent. And the display is good too. On the bottom, we got some touch keys back home and recent, and an LED notification light. On the left, we got a 12 hybrid sim slot and on the right we got a volume rocker and a power button on the back starting from the top we got a led light a 13 megapixel rear camera with f2.2 aperture on the first look you might confuse it in metal but the device is made completely out of plastic but with a good metallic finish on the bottom we can see a speaker grill with a little bump to prevent muffling. The phone does look gorgeous. The gold metallic finish is premium. Here we got the USB charging port and a dedicated mic. And on the top we got the 3.5mm headphone jack, a dedicated mic for noise cancellation and surprisingly a infrared blaster. That's awesome. Boot of the device. Meanwhile, let's check the specs. It weights 131 grams, which is light enough for comfortable usage. 5 megapixel camera in the front and 13 megapixel camera on the back. Both are at f2.2 aperture. 5 inch 720p ISP display with 296 ppi. Qualcomm Snapdragon 4 to 5 chip along with Cortex A53 quad core CPU clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. It does support external storage and it's 256. It got a 16GB internal storage with 2 gigs of RAM, infrared blaster and a 3120mAh battery as I said before. Setting of the device. Talking about the UI, it's polished and snappy. For day to day usage, one should be fine with it. I didn't find it laggy at all. And MIUI 8.1 got a quite a handful features packed in already. A security app with lot of functionalities and some other features like double tap to wake, carousel wallpaper, theme support, detailed audio setting with some headphone presets built in, second space, dual app, light mode and many more. And this device is running Android Marshmallow and Xiaomi promise to throw a nougat update for this device soon. Moving on to the camera, the 
13 megapixel rear shooter is good enough to shoot decent stills and videos. The app is responsive too. These images are taken in good outdoor lighting condition. The color reproduction is good and accurate, but it lacks depth of field. Taking close-up pictures or macro shots with this camera is a delightful experience. The depth of field is also better in this mode. Low light pictures are not that great, but for the price of the phone it's good enough. You can see these images aren't that bad. Here's a video footage shot in good outdoor lighting condition. The video is a little bit shaky and that's because lack of OIS or EIS. Here's another video taken at night. Again, lack of stabilization makes it very shaky. And the front 5 megapixel shooter is also in same. Good lighting condition will give you good selfies. Sound output is also great. Talking about operating performance, let's start with the benchmarking and we got on to do a first. Testing it again. As you can see the score and it's par with other Snapdragon 425 chip. Let's move to Geekbench. Testing it again. Again the scores are good and at par. Rendering score. And this is our single and multi core score. Moving on to CPU Z. As you can see here. Redmi 4A does lot of sensors. Xiaomi didn't cut corners for sensors. Other manufacturers should learn from them. Now let's check some gaming performance. I'm gonna start with Super Mario Run from Nintendo. If you didn't know already, Nintendo has released Super Mario for Android platforms too. As you can see, it's running without any lag. This device is capable of running any light game with ease. Let's speed up the rest of the stage and move to some heavier games. On the heavier games, we are gonna start with Warhammer 40k Free Blood. And as you can see, it's lagging a little bit. But it's completely playable. I like this game. Let's play for a bit. I will put all the useful links in the description. Let's move on to our next heavy game. And up next, we got Asphalt Extreme. Let's skip to the gameplay directly. As you can see, this is also lagging a bit. Frames are a little bit dropping but still playable. Actually I'm pretty impressed by the performance of this device. Adreno 308 along with ARM 53 quad core CPU clocked at 1.4 GHz is quite impressive. 
and another point is this device doesn't heat up much during heavy gameplay even if you are using for hours let's skip the rest and let's check the ram management starting with super mario no it's reloading let's check warhammer no it's reloading too so ram management isn't that good but it can be fixed easily via updates in future and now we're gonna test some extremely heavy game usually no one review gaming performance using this kind of games but i wanna check how far this phone can push starting from the menu it's lagging way too much oh my god this is unplayable here it's completely unplayable so do i recommend this device yes of course this is the best under 6000 you can get in india devices with snapdragon 652 inside struggles to run that game at the end so be confident and you know there won't be any pros if there isn't cons subscribe if you haven't already done